All right, and welcome back to another part here of Pokemon Platinum as we uh, head over to Eterna City, Eterna Town, Eterna City, one and the other. But first, we gotta get through Eterna Forest. So I'm thinking that Gardenia, next gym leader, she won't be too difficult actually to manage. We do have Staravia, and Staravia does kick so much ass now. Ever since it evolved, even though I haven't used it since it evolved, so... It's Battle Pro, so I'll just check that as unknown. And Grottle here is having a difficult time with this pony type. And we're going to get the level off of it. So I don't even know when the next cap when my next Pokemon capture is gonna occur. I do need to get a fire type though. That needs to be a priority. Thought you would battle me. Oh great. I wish I would have kept absorbed. Get some health back against hikers. Not anyone else foolish enough to use rock ground types. But yeah, I need a fire type to round out the team. And then I guess what? Two more other types just for fun. Like the other Pokemon games I've played, I've pretty much mapped out the Pokemon that I want to use. Like, there's no randomness here. And we'll give this to Weasel. Hopefully he's just, he's just running straight rock and ground types. nice experience off these things. But I think as far as like playing this game and the sequence of events that you have to follow in this game, I think the next Pokemon capture is going to be a Hound Door. Right after like right outside Veilstone City. So we're gonna be rocking three Pokemon for a while. Hopefully I don't get tired of them too quickly. <laughs> yeah, not useless, but don't really need that right now. I don't know if I should go back and heal up Grottle. I'll do that if he, if he gets red. And that was quasi-poison type. Grottle needs a move to handle these Pokemon. Grass and poison types. As it stands, Tackle is not too good, I would say. I mean, it's decent, but not like a game changer. It's not a tide turner. But I am planning for Staravia to actually just sweep Gardenia. No fuss, no muss. Well, I might have uh, potions I can use. I don't even know why I'm talking strategy for Gardenia. I'm not even close to battling her, so... We'll table that discussion for another day. Probably the next episode. Depends on how long it takes to get through the forest, or even to the forest. That was garbage experience right there. Hmm. Do you think Patrices would have Spark at this point? Let's go with Staravia in case they do. The last Patrices we fought didn't have Spark. I'm not too in tune with the move set of a Patrice, so I'm not entirely sure. Might not, since it's rock and quick attack. But then again, this is a 
AI strategy and they're always stupid, so. Maybe it doesn't have an electric move or a damaging electric move. Because something blues out. Oh well, hindsight 2020. I don't even know if, I mean, I guess, as far as a team building standpoint, having a water type is useful, but I don't think there's any, like, you know there's a place to surf in this game. It's very small, it's a very small route. I think you need to surf from uh, Life to Wave City. That's when surf is useful. But other than that, I don't think it's used to in this game at all. Which is good. It's a nice little break from uh, Generation 3. Where half the region was covered in water. I say Generation 3 like it only encompasses the uh, what, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Some experience for uh how is Onyx faster than this thing? I get that you're a turtle, but that's a rock snake, but come on. I need to level up these elves some more. Mm, bite's not bad. Give it a curse for that. Something for the uh, ghost type gym leader. And I'm pretty sure Blizzell might. No, Blizzell doesn't have bites. It's way too useful of a move for it. Yeah, this could be useful. I wonder if I get the heals in that house. I wonder what generation they start doing that. Like every other. Like at the end of every route, there's like a trainer that heals you. That's so useful. I'm running backwards to Pokemon centers each and every time. This thing's still holding a dire hit, and it used Blizzard Leaf with increased critical chance. Still not landing a critical hit. Watch this be a critical hit. And it wasn't. Okay, cool. Is everybody rocking one Pokemon? Where's the where's the logic behind that game freak? You leave at least for the two Pokemon stage. For everyone should just have two Pokemon at their disposal. This is pretty useful. I'm not going to complain. But let's see if I get the heals here. Thank you, ma'am. What are you looking at? Yeah, poison schmoison. Heals you get every battle too, so and we get force double battles. Obviously, this guy's not a trainer, but thought he might give me something useful. Oh, look, it's a hoot hoot. Generation two remakes confirmed. Mm, 
use the moss rock to evolve an Eevee. Let's see how this goes. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I think she's rocking a Chansey. They're, they're like decent support. Look at that Patrice is pretty bulky. I don't have any confidence. I'm surprising for the offense right there. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Focus on the chance, bruh. Any chance it would focus on Patrice if I go for Wumple? Yeah, whatever. Patrice is using no threat to Grottle. I have to point out that my Grottle did most of the work there. Oh, yeah, you guys have more Pokemon. Well, I guess just one person has three, the other one has two, or only one. Grottle is hogging all of the experience. too concerned because I get the heals afterwards. Okay, being all selfish. Why did Grout be the star of this? Focus on that chance. Good or scrubs. Those team. Those, what are those? those psychics or something? Yeah. They look like psychics. They talk like psychics and they look like psychics. They must be a psychic. Usually the overall sprite doesn't match the trainer at all. That one, those two just jumped out at me. Hidden power fighting. Do they both have hidden power, hidden power fighting? Hmm, interesting. I would have been super impressed if Chansey one shot at that Abra. A weak Pokemon versus a frail Pokemon. have psychic powers why are you gym like why are you trainers be a superhero be superheroes or something every one of my Pokemon are itching to grow a level eh, a Baneary I would catch a Baneary but I've been burned before in my what, Pokemon and Gold playthrough, or Crystal playthrough, where uh, I wanted a, either an Umbreon or an Espeon that evolves through happiness, and I didn't even get that all the way through, up through the Elite Four. So I may not... Well, this... I shouldn't even say that. That's an absolute... I was going to say that I uh, may not go for... 
Pokemon that evolve through friendship anymore. But I am going to catch a Riolu in this game, so... Throws that out the window. Alright, if we can one-shot a Burmy, we can one-shot a Wurmple. Tired of that. Surprised those Burmese aren't using like protect or something. Makes sense, that would be Grodel. Yeah, it's like grow, growth, and turtle. That would make a lot of sense. Ooh, would have been clutch if Chansey got the kill there. The last thing's not strong enough. Things are purely support. Didn't even get a level off that. Where are the trainers? I think those are trainers up there. Really? Pretty much double their level and we can't run away. I know it's not based on I don't know what it was based on back then. Either level or speed. Or a combination of both. Let's send him I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get a level off this, but it... Hey, I need to... What? All experience is good experience? There's a lot I have to keep telling myself. <laughs> for a soft blow for some reason. Let's just keep going for pursuits or uh, water guns. Looks like these used defense grill enough. Psychics are hanging out in the forest. You know, they should have they should have had like an EV trainer in here. Just a little random EV trainer. Because of the moss rock. Give the Pokemon world a lived in feel.
right, who is next? Should I go up there, see if there's anything worth checking out? This could be the exit, actually. This is very Exidian vibes. I'm not mad at it. H. Oh, here's the exit. This looks like the old chateau that I can't access because I don't have cut. No, that's not no use yet. Over. Oh, this is still 205, huh? Oh. Don't want to skip these uh, very important magic card trainers. Oh, you're not a trainer. These very important magic card trainers. He's the exception, not the rule. I'm pretty sure one of these is rocking like a team of magic herbs. There's always that one trainer. It's almost like a tradition at this point. Oh, yep. We found him. These are the most this is, these are the most worthless battles in all the Pokemon games. I think in more recent games we try to mix it up a little bit by having them have a random gear dose at the end. I don't think this guy will have a gear does, because since we're not even to the second gym yet, I wouldn't throw that at player, I hope. This is gonna be long, but especially if I want to please all to get exit this. Worthless experience. Holy crap, 42 points. Okay, looks like they're getting stronger. Oh, and they have to. Okay. My phone on vibrate. I felt the vibrations there, but that was the public service, public safety announcement. Because of all the protests. This is one beefy magic arc. Could have made some for some good eating. Gotta level that a little bit. I think that was just this. That, make, that must have been the strongest magic art. Or his highest level magic art, one or the other. Now we just coast. In this very long, very tedious battle. That's super, super important. Man. 
appreciate the, the developer's way of uh, trolling the player. I'm like 100% convinced now. Focused. Remember why I'm doing this. These all need the experience. Every little bit counts. Gotta remember that. Even if it is only 51 points. This one should at least be a little bit larger. Really? You're gonna let magic wipe out speed you? This is the longest battle in the game. Maybe because you know I am using a weak Pokemon to do it. Better yet, this is the most uninteresting battle in the game. I don't want so much of Magikarp sweat all over the place. Alright, we wasted all of those power points from, you know, probably 500 points of experience in total. Not even. Magic Heart user. With all these, with, with as calm as Magic Harps are, you would assume there would be a lot more Gyaradoses running around. Just the Staravia. I want this to go a little faster. I yeah, started with some nice experience before the gym. Because if I remember correctly from looking it up yesterday, I think Gardini's Pokemon are in the 20s. Low, low to mid twenties. So that should be fun. And this to Buzo. It's our resident Magikarp killer. They shouldn't have anything to hurt me. I don't think they run attack until level 15. When I was in there, I thought Splash actually did something it's in certain conditions. Like it had to be raining or something, or you use it in water, it'll do something. But nope, it's a worthless move. This one wasn't so bad. Only got 60 points still. This was pretty much Buizel's time to shine because this is going to be a lot of grass users. Alright, we finally made it to this Team Galactic infested hellhole. I'm pretty sure I need cut in order to enter their secret hideout. Their little hidey hole. Man, this is where you get the bike. It's a great little junction town. Yep, I need cut. And then there's Barry right here. 
Why are we even taking that? Apparently I was heading the right direction. That's a power move right there. Yeah, I should go over here for some, you know, additional training. Don't know why I said that all disjointed like. I just end it here. So go over there. Hmm, those are the choices. I will pro okay. Side yet. You know, I hope we all come here and cut because I don't want to clog up the rattle. Maybe I, should, I can catch a bit of and use that as a placeholder until I fill up my team. Decisions, decisions. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Where we uh, take on either Gardini or we just go through that route real quick. Peace. She's standing out right here.